This one's for all you father haters out there. Fuck 
I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with Deadways. Deadways. They made me do the Jazz hands. <laughs> so uh, who are you guys? We are Deadweight. We are. Introduce did you have names or did your, your mama I'm just skip I'm those Kevin, over? I'm the rhythm guitarist <laughs> Deadweight. I'm Ronnie. I also play guitar. Brandon, vocals. Eric, I play the drums. I'm Jacob and I play bass. Pretends to. I'm usually confused. So the dead weight, I like that name. It kind of reminds me of like a ship that's sailing on the seas of SpongeBob. Listen to like SpongeBob core, kind of like some uh, crazy yelling Look type of it. stuff. Look Needle, at it. Exactly Needle like that, Patrick. <laughs> I want all of you to look at it. Was that the inspiration? Are you guys like um, into the the Sponge Core, or what was the name? Who came up with that? More. Sponge Core was actually that was actually an internet project a while ago like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Do you remember but the episode no of the SpongeBob where Pantera's on there? Yes. Okay. yes. That one's pretty... <laughs> Love it. That is like canon. <laughs> <laughs> if you play metal. Yeah, part of the origin story. It so, uh, Deadweight, appreciate you guys coming on in. You guys are a local Tampa band, so we've had some people from Orlando and Daytona recently. It's nice to have people from the backyard coming on in. Uh, the guys from Seoul actually put us together, which is fucking awesome. Jordan's hanging out in the room backstage, hiding behind camera. Yep. Uh, they're, they're, they're hey. here with us hanging out. So shout, uh, out. shout out to Seoul because they've been huge supporters of us since they heard us. And apologies to Phil's window <laughs> to this guy. Yeah, Phil from actually. From this guy. Phil actually warned me to not let you guys buy the window. And he's can the closest that's one. That's why I'm window. over here. <laughs> yeah, Derek's trying like to block in. But can, can you explain what that's all about? Basically, there was <laughs> every chair in existence in Phil's house, and Kevin decided he wanted to sit on the windowsill, and his ass went straight through the, the window. Eric made an illustration of it. I mm, did. Maybe you guys could post it so your people, whoever listens to this, your fans could see it. It's the uh, <laughs> the canvas on the Malice music vi music uh, on Spotify. No, honestly, I really respect the kind of music you guys are playing, especially when you came and set up. And it was apparent that there was only like just a couple brain cells between the few of you. You kind of had to share it around for a while. Luckily, I'm experienced with bass players, but I could tell there's a lot of help that was needed just, you know, keeping you guys on track. You, you care to speak on that? Who's typically head brain cell? Being Ron, Ron, so Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie for sure. Uh, musically <laughs> speaking, uh, to toot my own horn, I kind of put everything together except for the vocals. This guy really puts it puts in the work there. And uh, when I do, as far as just being a human being and telling us how to act like human beings, Eric gets all the credit. I'd say. Uh, and for doing most of the work and being a unit on like our whole EP, did the whole thing oh, yeah. himself. Absolutely yeah, if you've ever insane. listened to our EP and thought that it sounded great, Eric gets all the credit for that. Yeah, I well learned in a year. Damn right. Uh, it's good to that you guys have learned to more. adapt and kind of assign those roles. It, it seems like you got it functioning, you know, pretty well. <laughs> we've yeah. we've all been friends for a long time, especially me and Kevin and me and Jake. How long have you been doing you? the music? How long have the five of you been been working on this? Oh shoot! Oh, shit. Uh, five of us as a group, probably three years. Three or four years, right? Roughly. Or roughly. four years. No, 2020. Eric and I were like, for our part of the site anyways, was the first ones in, you know. Uh, Eric's had plenty of people come through beforehand um, oh, yeah, before, sure. you know, he met me and my old friend, David. Uh, then turned around, David left, left, lost everybody. So we went through like two more guitarists before we ended up finding uh, Ronnie, yeah. which Ronnie came along with, with him and another vocalist. Wrote like one song, two songs maybe, I think, and then... Dropped out, I happened to be there, took in, and uh, the rest is history, man. Yeah, Brandon has left and come back. Well, got kicked out and came back. And then uh, Kevin thinks that he quit the first time, but he actually got kicked out at the same time. <laughs> uh, and he's back now, too, because I love him. 
Nice, nice. And, and you gotta really love 2020. Like, this is probably the best time in history to start a band when you like, oh, yeah. couldn't fucking gig. There was nothing to do but like workshop and like no, put shit just, together and write music. Like, a, it, yeah. w- it was a good time to like put something new and fresh together. We, yeah, just we weren't ready bro. for it for a while anyway. Let's be real. Yeah. We <laughs> sat there, we wrote, and then we practiced for a year. And then Brandon came along, and then we said, okay, put out the EP and then start playing shows, which was last year in October. So you guys uh, keep mentioning the recordings and the EPs. Is that what you got out right now available for stream? And In Darkness is Light on Spotify and every major platform. Okay. That is our current EP. I think it's six songs. All right. You guys doing any uh, thing like visual aid, music videos, or uh, album art to go with the music you guys got? Funny you mentioned that. <laughs> June, just June released first one. disposable music uh, lyric video. Hell yeah. It was actually the, the last song that we played here that song is getting released june 1st uh it, it's it's a lyric video not a music video but uh the sneak peek that i got of it was fantastic we are also I'm really excited for people to see it and we, we do have we're going to be putting out a video here soon i left the decision up to eric on what song and what we're going to do but i definitely want to get a music video of us out for our next single we'll probably yeah for our next video. single yeah videos definitely help keep people's attention um, but I, I do want to talk about your gear when I watched um, one, of the, you know, one of the early songs. You guys just like playing the open strings with no other hands in the guitar. That was pretty cool. That was a fun thing. And I usually just play like a six string or, or a four string. So I'm not even sure what those top strings are or where they're tuned to. But that was a fun aspect. Well, you see, he didn't have a beer in his other hand. That was the issue. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, if you watch us live, I'm normally drinking a, a, a beer. It's That's pretty sick. Live I get it. Spectacular. Well, I appreciate that. I like your guitar too, though. Yours in particular. This is pretty sick. It's got these cool inlays on it. It's all like stealth black. Looks like a fighter jet. Um, you know, you said, I guess you were saying it's like a custom job or so something. So yeah, the you story got? of it was uh, I was looking at Facebook Marketplace and I saw this guitar for three hundred bucks. That's a steal. It, it really was. It's it's probably my favorite guitar. The playability. This guy, the guy that sold it to me, I would have paid a thousand bucks for this. The pickups alone are worth three hundred bucks. Don't say he that he might be watching. What kind himself. of guitar is it? It's he made it himself. I uh, nice. You know, I'm blanking on his name, and I probably don't want to say his full name without his permission on. on Rusty the Shackelford. Anyway. No, that's pretty sweet, but, man. Uh, he did a good job. I actually reached out to him the other day just to be like, "Hey, I'm still playing this guitar. It's doing me a lot of good." And I uh, just wanted to thank you because it's I'm attached to it. Yeah, it, It's a killer looking instrument. It sounds great. And Derek and I are just huge fans of the black and white theme. So we were in it as soon as he whipped it out. I was like, all right, man. Yeah, this, this is this is going good. So what you guys got coming up? Anything? What's the, the future of the band? Anything you want to talk about before we uh, start wrapping up? This Saturday, we're playing at Craft Life Brewing in Hudson, Florida with Isora and Gila. No, Hilo, we're playing with them in a, in a couple weeks, too. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah, it looks like they were doing a tour down the East Coast. Nice. All right, guys, it's every band's here at Tart to plug the socials. So everyone that digs your sound, man, where can they follow you, buy your merch, buy your and support what you got going on? What uh, is the best way to connect with you guys? You can find us on most platforms at Deadweight813. Some platforms are Deadweight8FL, but not most of them. But most of them, it's 813. Uh, also on Spotify, everything's on any major streaming platform. Uh, Facebook, we have our own website, Deadweight 813, Square Site. Deadweight Cult on Facebook as well. Yeah, Deadweight Cult if you really like uh, us. That's DW Cult. D- oh, DW, DW Cult. Sorry, Whatever. sorry, DWC. You're the Same one that thing. named it. But you yeah, heard Facebook it, guys. made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, support local music, and share this with your friends. Go, go see a live show. It's not a real cult. Please don't uh, pay any attention cult. to that, FBI. It's a real cult. <laughs> see ya.